Hello, my name is Dr. Max Liberon, and today I'm going to introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pieces of software called Workflowy. Workflowy is actually a very simple, intuitive list-making software. It's for to-do lists mostly, but I use it for writing. And I have written everything from uh, presentations to letters of recommendation to my book inside of this. And today I'll be going through a case study of how to do an assignment uh, for one of my courses in Workflowy. The best thing about Workflowy is it helps you organize your ideas and edit them without getting into the weeds and gives you ways to back up and look at your main argument as well as zoom in on some of the nitty gritty. All students that I've introduced Workflowy to have said it's either helped them a lot or a little, and so I'm really pleased to be able to show it to you today. So Workflowy uh, is free online software. You can go to workflowy.com and uh, put in an account. The account lets you sync up between your different devices. So it can, if you're walking and you have ideas, you can do it on your phone. You can do it on one computer and all of your computers together. The pricing for the most basic uh, package, which is actually quite extensive, is free. I have a Workflowy Pro account because I have literally hundreds of different uh, presentations inside of this. So this is what you get if you've been using Workflowy for a long time. I have literally hundreds of things in here. I'm going to show you quickly my book. This is an entire 300-page book, Pollution is Colonialism. You can see that it uh, lets you make these different sort of nodes and then expand them. So here's this nice outline of my book. If you look in chapter one, you'll see, oh, there's five sections to that. How nice. If you open up these, then once again, they have all of these different sections and subsections. And what's nice is if you get caught in the weed, you can like zoom out and just sort of look, oh yeah, right, my main argument and go back and forth between that. So when you start a new project, this is what you end up with, a bit of a blank page. So this is gonna be ooh, my assignment. And now immediately gives you nodes and subnodes. So, um, often what I'll do is if I know I'm preparing for an assignment or a writing project, I will start a workflow and then add the instructions. So while you can do uh, lists like this and press tab and you get a sub list and another sub list, you can also hit uh, shift and return and put in uh, just text that isn't part of the list and is sort of like instructions or flavor text or something like this. So this is this text that just come in, it's gray text and it doesn't exactly fit in with the list. It's sort of subtext and I can do that on any, any of these. And that sort of keeps my prompt up there. And then while I'm reading, what I'm probably going to do is actually just grab some quotes and put them in uh, just to save them. So I might call this quotes. There's a nice quote and always need the page number. Going back for it is no fun. So there are some quotes, I might need those later. So now, okay, I've got my quotes, I've got my instructions, I'm done reading. And now it's time to do my assignment. So this assignment says, uh, is asking me to analyze the text using some key terms and this particular reading. And I know a few things that I'm going to, to need for this assignment. I'm gonna need an introduction. I'm going to need an, uh, a case study. Uh, I'm gonna to have to analyze that case study. And then I need a conclusion. When I use workflow, I also add one more section that I call cutting room floor. And that's so if I write something but I don't need it for now or it doesn't quite fit, I can stash it down there and I'll show you what that looks like. So, okay, let's look at, I'm gonna hide these quotes because they're stressing me out. Oh, now I just have my outline, awesome. Introduction, well, my introduction probably needs a thesis statement. Definition of, uh, from O'Brien. Ooh, this is where my nice quotes come in handy. I'm just gonna grab this quote and drop it in there. So it uses drag and drop to help you organize and reorganize things. Right, excellent. Uh, cases being studied. Uh, I am going to put in a different, few different types of analyses. and then use my examples. Oops, there we go. There we go, so there we go. 
Here's another place I can put my quote. I can drag and, drag and drop that down there. Excellent. And then if I'm feeling stressed out, again, I can just zoom out and be like, oh yes, my case study. Now let's say that you've written something and you really like it, or perhaps you have a quote that you really love, but it doesn't really fit. I can stash these in the cutting room floor and I can always go back for them, but it kind of stashes it away. So I don't need it right then. When you are done, you can go up and it makes these three little dots. And there's a bunch of things you can do because this is list making software. It seems that sometimes you complete things, uh, but what I'm going to do is export this. And it basically gives you a beautiful cut and paste of your entire uh, project, which you can then uh, put into a Word document. So now I'm in my nice clean Word document. I just paste it in and there it is, all sort of un, uh, unhidden again. So I can just, I'm gonna get rid of the quotes part here. And you just take uh, these bullet points out and yeah, start writing. What I find is that this really helps with um, dealing with the blank page, right? You can stash your drafts and your notes and your quotes and your musings in one place. You can organize them and reorganize them. And when it comes to editing something where someone's like, ooh, the flow doesn't quite fit, you can then, it's easier to rearrange your work and do really strong edits because you're no longer precious about missing or losing things. So I hope you find Workflowy as useful as I do. I literally, anytime I have to organize my thoughts on paper, it goes into Workflowy. Uh, good luck and thanks for listening.